Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will draw this figure in AutoCAD. Let's start. First, I will make this portion. So, the dimension of ellipse is given. This distance is 140 mm, which is given. And this distance is also given, which is 100 mm. So, let's make this kind of ellipse, which is X is in ellipse. Click on ellipse arrow. X is in. Click on this one. And click on this point. And now, enter a distance of 200 mm. Because the radius is 100 and the diameter becomes 200. So, this time, enter diameter of 200. And now, if we see this distance, so this distance is 140 mm. And till here, it is 70 mm. So, this time, enter the radius, which is 70 mm. Enter. Now, let's check the dimension, whether the ellipse is correct or not. So, this is 140 mm, which is correct. Now, let's check from the center to this point. It should be 100 mm. Yes. So, this is also correct. Now, it is and now you will draw this circle so the dimension of this circle is also given from the quadrant of this ellipse this distance is given which is 45 mm 45 mm and the diameter of the circle is also given which is 70 mm so let's draw it click on circle arrow center diameter now we will track the distance so move cursor to the quadrant of the ellipse but not click on the quadrant and then move cursor upward and then enter a distance of 45 mm and now enter a, a diameter of 70 mm so this is mad now i will draw these two circles this circle uh, now i will draw this line and this line so the gap between these two line is 40 mm and the length is 300 mm so click on line first i will create a line which passes from the quadrant of the ellipse now offset this line so select this line and go for offset and the gap is 40 mm which means that uh, 20 mm on this side and 20 mm on this side so enter a 20 mm offset distance and click on this side and click on this side now escape and tr enter from the keyboard double enter and trim these two lines now i will enter this 300 mm distance because if you see the dimension it is from this point not from the quadrant of the ellipse the dimension is given from this point not from the quadrant of the ellipse so if I will zoom it so this dimension is given the 300 dimension is given from this point not from this point therefore I follow this procedure so now click on line and click on this point from this point now enter 300 mm distance escape L enter for line then click on this point and enter a distance of 300 mm again and escape now select this line and these two lines erase them so this is the required dimension that we draw the required portion that we draw now if we see so this dimension is also given this distance is 10 which is given over here over here and this distance is uh, also 10 which is given over here and this distance is 2.88 which is given over here this distance is 2.8 mm this a little distance so let's make uh, this portion first I will zoom it click on line then click on this point and enter straight distance horizontal 10 mm then downward distance of 2.8 mm enter now again enter horizontal distance of 10 mm and then upward distance of 2.8 mm and then join with this end so this portion is made now this distance is given which is 20 mm and first we will draw this portion then uh, fill it this radius then fill it this portion so this distance is 20 mm and this is total 70 mm because 20 plus 20 70 mm so let's make it click on line then click on this point or just track the distance so we will track it so move cursor to the end of this line and then move cursor downward to downward like this but not click and then enter 20 mm and so this is our point now enter a distance of 70 mm because this 20 plus 20 70 mm this total distance now this distance is given which is 10 mm this distance is 10 mm so enter 10 mm downward and this distance is uh, 
15 mm which is given over here so enter 15 mm and this distance is 20 mm because this 10 mm and this hole is 30 mm if we subtract 10 from 30 so it becomes 20 mm so enter 20 mm distance downward and this distance is 30 mm which is given over here so enter 30 mm distance and this distance is again 20 mm because if we subtract 30 this distance this distance from 50 mm because till this distance is 50 and this distance is 30 so it becomes 20 mm so now again this time enter 20 mm vertical distance and now this distance is again 30 mm which is given over here so again enter 30 mm and now this distance is given over here if we subtract 50 mm distance from 66 mm so it becomes 16 mm distance now this time enter this time enter 16 mm distance downward and this gap is if we see if we subtract 66 from 78 so it becomes 12 mm now enter uh, sorry first I will make this distance so this distance is also given which is 32 mm from this line and if we see this is already 20 mm this is already 20 mm if we subtract 20 mm this distance from 32 so it becomes 12 so again enter this side 12 mm enter and we calculated this distance already if we subtract 66 from 78 so it becomes 12 so again enter 12 mm distance and again this side enter 12 mm as previous because we calculated this distance this is also 12 and this distance is uh, calculated from here if we subtract 78 mm distance from 96 mm so it becomes 18 mm now this time enter 18 mm distance and and this distance is also given which is 54 mm from this line if we subtract 20 mm distance from 54 so it becomes 34 now enter 34 mm because we already here with the 20 mm should be minus from the 54 so it becomes 34 enter 34 mm distance and now this distance is also given which is uh, calculated from here if we subtract 96 mm distance from 108 so it becomes 12 mm now again enter 12 mm now join with this line I will erase now joining this line with this so join it straight escape so this portion is made now I will create this portion this portion so zoom it now click on line click on this point and zoom out click on the quadrant again L for line enter click on this point and now if we see so there is no tracking point so straight clearly pass vertically from this ellipse and click escape now TR double enter for trim now trim this portion to make the line vertically straight so this object is made now I will apply hatching to this portion so click on the hatching I'll just click on gradient first I will click now click on this portion and click on this click on this now I will change it click on this and escape so the key is made according to this dimension according to this dimension we made this key if you're facing any problem then comment below i will be answer you thanks for watching